Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the output section to declare output values in an AWS CloudFormation template. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the CloudFormation service, then click on Create Stack with New Resources. I'm going to upload a template file here called ec2-test.yaml. Here on line one, I'm defining the mapping section with a mapping called region and environment type to AMI ID. For regions US East 2 and US East 1, I'm defining AMI IDs for test and prod environments. Attention! On line 10, I'm starting the parameter section and defining a parameter called environment type, which has two allowed values, test and prod. And on line 18, I'm defining a parameter called instance type, which allows two values, t2.micro and m1.small. On line 26, I'm starting the resources section and defining a resource called web server instance, which is of the type EC2. Under properties, I'm specifying the image ID using the find in map function, which accepts three parameters. The first parameter is the region and environment type to AMI ID map, which we defined earlier. For second parameter, I'm using the ref function to grab the value of the current AWS region using a pseudo parameter reference. And for the third parameter, I'm using the ref function again and grabbing the value of environment type. For instance type, I'm grabbing the value of instance type parameter that we defined in the parameter section using the ref function. Attention! On line 33, I'm starting the output section and outputting the value of AMI ID, region, environment type, and instance type. For AMI ID, I'm using the find in map function with the exact same parameters we looked at earlier. For region, I'm using the ref function to grab the value of AWS colon colon region, which is a pseudo parameter predefined by AWS CloudFormation. For environment type and instance type, I'm just grabbing the parameter values that we defined in the parameter section earlier. Let's upload this file and click on next. Give your stack a name, then choose the values for parameter environment type and instance type. I'm going to choose prod for environment type and t2.micro for instance type, then hit next. Let's leave all these stack options to their default values, then click on next. Review your stack configuration, then hit submit. Your stack should now be in create in progress status. Give it a few minutes, and your stack should eventually change to create underscore complete status. Yeah, 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 yeah. Navigate to the Outputs tab, and you should see the value of four keys that we specified in our Outputs section. AMI ID, Environment Type, Instance Type, and Region. For AMI ID, we see a value ending in 03F. Attention! This is because we are in the US East 1 region, and I picked prod for the Environment Type variable. The instance type also looks correct since we picked t2.micro and the region we already know is US East 1. Next, let's head to the Resources tab and click on the Physical ID to confirm that the AMI ID of our EC2 instance also ends in 03F. One thing to note is that CloudFormation doesn't redact any information you include in the output section, so it's recommended to not output sensitive information such as passwords or secrets. 
There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.